Good morning. I am Joni Smallshreed from the Indiana Secondary Transition Resource Center. This morning we are going to take a few minutes to talk about a specific question that is popping up across the state. Our friends in the field have been asking how to document big picture transition services and activities within the Indiana IEP. We hope that this short overview will help. We are continually trying to impress upon people that the overall purpose of transition services and activities is to provide students with individualized opportunities throughout the IEP year that will help them in making an informed decision about their post-secondary path in employment, education training, and independent living when needed. What we have been seeing and are being asked about is, what about those good activities that a school provides that are good for many students? How do we document those? This short presentation will look at those by addressing the interpretation of description in the Transition Services and Activities section of the IEP. We also want to make sure that we communicate that just because a school offers a big picture transition service and activity does not necessarily mean that each student needs that activity or that it should be included in the IEP. The mantra we continue to use is that transition services and activities should focus on following the path of the student. This path starts with age-appropriate transition assessments, which lead to the post-secondary goal statements, which should then help drive the transition services and activities. It is much like we talk about with measurable annual goals. It isn't about the program, it's about the individualized student need. To cut to the chase, I'm going to walk through a few examples based upon the most frequent questions we receive. In this example, the school offers the activity of using Reality Store to all students. We are tempted to write Reality Store as a description in this case. However, Reality Store is actually only a the vehicle that will be used to address something the student needs that could be informed by this activity. If a student moves from your school to mine and we don't offer Reality Store, the transition service and activity would need to be revised. Or, if your school determines to discontinue this activity, it would need to be revised. Instead, think about what you want the student to experience. Do you want him to experience roles and responsibilities? Do you want to develop a greater understanding of how much it costs to be an adult? When we look at it like that, we can individualize the description of the activity then put Reality Store in the narrative to explain how it is projected that this service will take place. A short recap. This is why, in best practice, we would not put Reality Store as the description. Another frequent question we receive is about the pre-employment transition services that are taking place in many of our districts across the state. Though pre ets is the program, each student is probably receiving a service based upon where they are currently at, what they need, and what will help them as they move forward. In this case, Marisol is looking for a part-time job. She will benefit from working on the skills that lead up to securing employment. Even though you expect that the service will be provided through the pre ets program, the service could actually take place in a variety of ways. Again, the description is what she will be doing. pre ets is the vehicle that may be used to provide that service. Again, why this way? Hopefully these sorting it out slides will help you as you move forward and talk through the questions you might have about big picture transition services and activities. One more, College Go Week. This is an awesome school-wide activity that students participate in. We need to think about what, based upon the path of the student, does he or she need to benefit from this experience and use it to help the student to make an informed decision moving forward. Tyrone has already indicated that he is interested in going to college and he has even indicated his interest areas. Now we can take a general activity and really individualize it for Tyrone. Addressing it this way makes it much more meaningful for Tyrone because his teachers or guidance counselor will talk to him about why he is doing this and what the connection is between College Go Week and him directly. It is important that every time we write a transition service or activity that we are making the connection or aligning back to the student's post-secondary goal statements. 
Transition services and activities should be something that benefits students and their decision-making process. So what's the bottom line? The transition IEP is all about the cyclical process of helping students climb the ladder or move to a new ladder to their post-secondary goals. We want to utilize transition services and activities to support that process and provide students with actual experiences to base their goals on. And this slide says it all. To do all of this, we need to follow each student as they lead us on their individual path by helping them find a path, make progress on their current path, or discover a new path. All of this happens when we provide student-centered opportunities through transition services and activities that help students make informed decisions. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with us today. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me at the address on this final slide. Have a great day.